Hey everyone, it's the Moon Goddess Oracle here. Um, so today is the 31st, the last day in May, all right? And May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, I did something, uploaded a video for it last year, so I thought I would do it again. I originally was going to put it on my life coaching channel, but I ain't got no subscribers over there. So if you could do me a favor, please subscribe to my second channel, which is SJP Life Coaching. No, I'm sorry. That's the name of the business. But I think the channel is the channel is Life Coach Star. Huh. It's been a lot going on. I hope you guys have had a wonderful uh, holiday weekend. OK, uh, remembering our heroes who fought, um, who gave their life fighting. All right. For the u.s okay um so definitely um always keep that in mind all right so this video uh to kind of close out uh mental health awareness month i decided well i wanted to do this earlier in the month but there were just so many things that just kept you know getting in my way so i'm gonna give you guys my top 10 um songs that have to do with like you know dark moments or, you know, hard times in need, you know, when you're just down and out and you feel like you ain't got nowhere to turn. Okay. So we gone, uh, switch it on over from spiritual to the mental, but nevertheless, again, they all work together. You need to be well balanced. All right. Um, so do me a favor, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video out. If you are not a part of the Peace and Harmony tribe, you can be. All you have to do is click subscribe. All right. Thank you so very, very much. Now that we got that out the way, I want to go ahead and um, start with my top 10 list here. Okay. Okay. I got uh, The Fray. Okay. How to Save a Life. All right. Wonderful, wonderful song, okay? And an even better uh, video, okay? So check that song out. I mean, my goodness. Like, first of all, I got a keyboard, okay? And <laughs> I was trying to learn that song because it's the piano entrance. It's the piano in the beginning for me, all right? So I, I am gonna master that song. And when I do, you know, I'm going to do a video and show you guys. No, but seriously, that is my number 10 song, okay? Number Man. nine, uh, Odie But A Goody. And very, very heavy, very, very heartfelt even is, is the word, okay? Eminem, Stan, I mean, my goodness. Like, mm, what a wonderful song wonderful and you know he sampled that blondie in there it's just what a great song you know stan was um I, I believe stan is one of his other alter egos similar to slim shady and um you know stan was the was the crazy fan that was just so you know really really crazy about um eminem and a true fan and you know that was also going through his tough times and you know he would rely on you know Eminem's music and you know he had other things you know he wanted him to listen to his music okay go and check out that visual video because you really really get to connect with it as you watch it and as you listen to the lyrics number eight okay I believe this song came out at a at the moment at the right moment that it needed to come out um I want to say this is around the time that that show, um, 13 Reasons Why, okay? And I don't, I still have not finished that show. But nevertheless, I want to say that this song came out, you know, around the time that that show was really, really uh, hitting. Um, so, Logic, okay? And the song is uh, simply the the um, suicide hotline number, okay? And this song features Alessia Cara, Cara and um, Khalid. And what a wonderful song. I remember when they performed it on one of those award shows and they just had all the kids out there and teenagers with, uh, you know, just all the words on their shirt and just like, what a very, very powerful song. It's just one of those things that I just feel like we need more of, you know, suicide prevention and awareness, um, if you will. We really, really do need a lot more of that, okay? And so kudos to Logic and Alessia Cara and Khalid for just coming out at the song at the time that they did, okay? 
Number seven. Okay. Um, I got Christina Aguilera. I turned to you. And I mean, you would just really, really, really have to feel those lyrics, okay? The first opening of the song is When I'm Lost in the Rain. Mm. Mm. I know I'll find the light to light my way. My goodness. So just a real, real powerful song. And actually, um, that song is definitely uh, more so, I believe, dedication to her mother. Um, but again, it's still definitely one of those songs to get you through your toughest and your darkest times. Because my goodness, I know that song did wonders for me. Shout out to Christina Aguilera for coming out with that song when, at the time that she did, okay? Woo, number six. So emotional, you guys. Number six, you guys. Um, I'm with you. Avril Lavigne, okay? Take me by the hand. Take me somewhere new. Okay, she said, I don't know who you are, where you are, but I'm with you. Like, look here, okay? Avril Lavigne had a, a serious way for um, us. Uh, was I in high school at the time? Oh, I'm dating myself. But nevertheless, middle school, high school, whatever, Avril Lavigne had a way. I was definitely in high school. Avril Lavigne had a way going on at that time i mean she just her music was right on time going number five okay so one of my life coaching um specialties is grief and loss okay so i would be remiss if i don't mention my guy rest in peace to him you guys know he died last um, year dmx okay and i miss you mariella holloway oh my goodness so Woo! Okay, so that song, I remember when that song came out, and my goodness, it definitely hit real, real hard for me. So if you are somebody that has, you know, you struggle really, 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 really heavy and hard with grief and loss, I mean, my goodness, this song here, and especially, you know, the pandemic was crazy. A lot of people lost, um, you know, somebody that was very, very close to them. And, you know, that that is a song to definitely pull up and to just really sit with it and cherish all of the memories that um you know whomever it is that you lost that was near and dear to you that is the song okay thank you dmx for that and may his soul for sure rest in peace okay, okay. and number four i got lauren hill everything is everything okay the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, let me tell you, what an album, okay? What a really, really great, significant album, um, especially for her time as a, um, you know, female hip-hop artist um, in the 90s, you know? She was definitely a staple for the community, whether it's the hip-hop community, the Black community, whatever community. If you listen to um, Lauryn Hill, I mean, you know, her songs will tear you up, too. Her songs speak a lot of truth, okay? Um, <laughs> Number three, I think I've had enough. My goodness, like, okay, so for those, if you guys know, if you've been here on my channel a while, you guys know I'm really, really heavy when it comes to music. I do a lot of my channeling, um, especially for through song, okay? And that one right there, four or five seconds, you know, Kanye, Paul McCartney, and Rihanna, you know, when this song came out, I I loved I I still love it. Like I, for the longest, I forgot about that song. Until. That song basically just 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 talks so much about all of the pressures and the stresses that a person can take you to when you are, you know, trying to be your best self, and you got somebody or people that just want to keep. Like, you know, you just want to rip somebody, you know. Uh, Kanye says, if I go to jail tonight. <laughs> like, promise you'll pay my bail, okay? Like, look here. That song is just, you know, you know, you can wake up as positive and, 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 you know, what do you say? Woke up an optimist. You know, the sun was shining, I'm positive, and then, you know, psh, table flip, okay? Because somebody was talking smack. Like, you know, just somebody, like, just taking you out of your, 
pulling you out your, your body, just make it, just bringing the ugly out of you, if you will. Okay. So that is a great song to like, literally just get some, mm, some anger out too. Okay. I really, really, I really, really love that song. Okay. Number two, Demons. How could you not? Like, I mean, I remember when this song came out. Shout out to Imagine Dragons, okay? Shout out to Imagine Dragons. Like, they have some jams, okay? But specifically, the Demon song, you know. <laughs> if you feel my heat, look me in my eyes. So no, if you feel my heat, look me in my eyes, okay? It's where my demons lie. Like, I think that's what he said. But let me tell you, nevertheless, this 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 is a great song. Okay. It's a really, really good song. Um, so I am I'm, I I definitely rocks with uh, the demons um Imagine Dragons. Okay. My top song, my top, top song, y'all. And I mean, like, when this artist first came out, you know, he was just definitely everywhere until he wasn't. So, yes, this uh, artist is just no longer here with us as well. And uh, it's very sad. But rest in peace to Juice World. You know, um, man, he, he definitely dealt with his demons. And he has a lot, a lot of songs that speak out about, you know, just the depression, anxiety, loneliness, and just everything underneath the sun, right? And so my, my the song that I connected with from him was Fast. And I mean, like, I, I played that song on repeat because the lyrics were just so, like, I don't know, just profound, like just really, really edgy, like, you know, just really, 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 oh, man, my goodness. But what a phenomenal artist said that, you know, his life was cut short, really, really sad. But um, so I gave Juice World like the number one spot, like for that song, because that song is really, really, really definitely will pick you up. It really, really will. Um, and don't think that, you know, because there are a lot of songs where the artist is going, was, was, or is going through something themselves. And, you know, when it comes out, you know, it resonates with you, you relate to it. And there are, there, are, these are just my top tens. Like these are just, you know, some of the few, I mean, I had to wrestle really, really hard with with some of the songs that I wanted to make it. And like, you know, you just have to, I mean, my goodness, like sometimes when they come on, I can't even remember them all because there's a lot more. It's hard to just pick 10 songs that, you know, um, that speak to moments of darkness and, you know, depression and any other, um, you know, there's suicide, there's just so much PTSD, just whatever it is that you are dealing with, okay? There is a song literally to get you through, whether that artist is talking about it in a negative way, you know, um, don't think that you, because the song is negative, that you can't connect with it or that it doesn't relate to you, okay? Um some kind of way you you will know how it relates to you okay and then you got the positive and you got the uplifting songs that you know that basically is just screaming that you will get through this your your dark your dark days are no more okay there's plenty of songs like that as well and um again i just literally these are the top 10 that came to my head that I know i just have to stop and reflect on the moments for some of them i just connected to I mean, again, because they resonated with me. And so, yeah, that will be my um, my homework for you. You know, as life, coach, like, as life coaches and counselors love to give homework. So, no, I'm going to go ahead and end this video um, because, again, yes, yeah, some of these songs are just really, really heavy. But this is me, Star, the Moon Goddess Oracle, just encouraging you to seek help if you are in need of help. There's crisis hotline numbers, you know. Tell a trusted friend, family member, and let them help you or 
find ways to get you help, okay? Um, you don't have to shut the people out who are trying to help you, all right? My prayer is that everyone um, wakes up with intent and just purpose and ready to just live out that purpose, okay? Um, so rest in peace to all of the artists or actresses, just or anybody in the world that literally, um, I'll say artists and actresses and everything like that, celebrities that have, um, you know, died due to overdoses, whether it was, um, you know, just, I can't even find the words, but so many people who have been suffering, who were suffering whether they ended their life some kind of way or, you know, God brought them home in a different kind of way. But definitely we just remember them. They aren't forgotten. And um, again, cherish each day that you have. All right. Each, I mean, each day. Okay. Um, my heart goes out to all of the people that are affected um, and that have lost their lives to the tragedies that we've had going on this year, whether it be, you know, you were in the Ukraine, okay, that Ukraine war, um, whatever is going on over there. So rest in peace to all of those people. Um, my heart goes out to the people in Buffalo and definitely, um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Valde, 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 Texas. Ugh, man, we've got work to do, people. We've got a lot of work to do. OK, because, again, there are so many people that are suffering in silence and you do have people that do suffer out loud and just for whatever reason. They they, they feel like ignored, you know. And so I encourage you to get on YouTube, you know, Google some things, Google some signs so that you are aware of when your loved one um or a stranger even you know you might work with somebody that you don't really know but they come to work every day and you know just there are people that can't get out the bed okay so healing is very 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 much needed people okay and do your healing work as well okay um, so again, if you know somebody that is in need in help or you, or you yourself need help, there are, you know, many ways that you can do it anonymously until you're ready to talk about it. Okay. So I will go ahead and close out this video. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, share this video out. Um, again, if you're not a part of the Peace and Harmony tribe, please join us by hitting subscribe. Okay. Um, I appreciate you for being here. Any information you need will be in the description box. Readings are open if you would like to um, schedule a um, reading with me. Okay. All right. Until next time.